Okay, this is the workflow for my um, live stream setup. I start with uh, two or more cameras and they are fed via SDI cables into um, this uh, unit up here. It's the that bottom unit on the rack. Uh, it's an um, called a ATEM Production Studio 4K switcher. When the show starts up, um, I, I record the line feed um, by uh, using this panel here. I hit I hit record, and that activates the uh, the second unit up there, which is the um, Black Magic Hyperduck uh, sh shuttle. I can also use the panel to switch between cameras using this bar. And um, I'll come over here and show you how that works. So here is the, uh, if you look on the upper right hand corner, you see the, uh, the, the output or the line. Um, and I can switch between cameras by going up and down on that, that bar. So coming back behind the ATEM switcher, you can see that green uh, SDI um, wire. That's feeding into this thing here, which is called a mini recorder. And that is outputting a via Thunderbolt wire into my computer, which is a Mac, Mac Pro. And here's the front of that. And so uh, uh, I'm using a, uh, a program, an encoding program called, and a, I guess it would be a, like a switching program called Wirecast. And um, that's how I get um, the content online. And I can, so I can show you that uh, I'm just kind of toggling between the cameras again. When the show is done, I'm going to just stop. Whoops, we're right here. Stop the recorder. And up here, I'm going to grab um, the SSD uh, drive and uh, swap it uh, or, or transfer it from the recorder to a player. And then I can um, access the material that I recorded and that I live streamed. Um, with, um, in my case, I use Final Cut Pro. And what's good about it is, uh, since uh, it's, it's getting its input from uh, SSD um, player, uh, it's not like you have to upload the files. You can use the SSD as you know, a, separ a separate drive, and you don't have to spend a lot of time um, uploading files. So that's about it, from camera to switcher, controlled by panel, um, to computer, from computer to internet, and then um, later on in post-production you can use the reader, uh, the player, or whatever it's called to input um, your files so that you can um, edit them on Final Cut or whatever other editing um, software you use. So that's about it. Thanks. Bye.